hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's clarice here and this is a look that i come up with for you guys today and guys i just want to inform you i want to change my youtube name and it's no more anti clarice or anything like that it's just it's clarice clarice creative makeup yeah that's the name clarice creative no it's clarice creative makeup yeah that sound sexy 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 and i'm still a child of god guys but because of copyright i'm gonna stop singing that song you know i don't know anything about copyright and all of that but trust me i'm gonna stop singing that song please mm. okay i'm still a warrior don't know if I'll be copyrighted. Fingers crossed, will not, guys. Well, this is the look I have for you for today. It's Clarice here. Go ahead, uh, like, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. channel today i sit in front of you and i don't know what i'm gonna do but i'm gonna come up with something i'm gonna come up with something okay guys i'm gonna take this here uh, 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 section of the palette it has no name as you guys know and see but i'm gonna use this section i'm gonna come up with something guys okay I'm not gonna go for the this brown shade here as my transition color. Let's go. Let's see what we come up with. Let's see. And we're going to blend, guys. Blend. Use in the windshield wiper motion. We're going to blend. Like our life depends on it. And I'm using this blending brush here. It's from Ashley Lee. Gonna blend it upwards to here. Now I'm gonna carry it all the way up here. We're gonna do something, guys. Makeup is about just experiment and see what happens. And then you have a look and then okay you can say right that's a statement look if it comes out beautiful just want to blend guys all right i'm going to use the same brush i'm going to use this here and I'm gonna put it in just tap it here okay tap it here just 
and I'm going to blend it in. Okay. To give it a little smoky effect. And just give it that triangle there. I'm not going to blend it all the way in here. I'm going to soften it up there. And just go like three quarter or halfway in the eye socket here. Let me come up with something, guys. And I had already did my brow off camera and did my lid, primer lid, and get it ready for the shadow. As you guys know, I always like to have some baby wipes here with me to wipe my brush. I'm going to go back here, you know, with the thin brown shade here. Above here, just to bring back a little color back here, guys. And you know what, guys? I'm not going to do a cut crease. Cut crease. Cut crease. Eh, 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 eh. Yeah. I'm going to do a cut crease, guys. And I'm using the Black Opal Foundation. This is a shade Heavenly Honey. That's what I'm going to use to cut my crease. Using this brush here. Strong, clean color. This little flat brush here. And for this look, I need my mirror. Because I want to be up close. I'm going to do a small cut crease, guys. Small little cut crease, yeah. I'm gonna do it halfway, guys. So it's gonna be a little halfway cut crease. And I don't want it too high today. Just going with the flow, guys. Okay, going back to this ear palette now, and I'm going to take this purple one here, shadow here, and I'm going to place it right here, here.
go back into the black shadow with this small brush now one just want to dot the area a bit kind of give it a little smoky And a pat, a nice swipe, a pat, and swipe. Guys, it's all about experiment with your makeup. Experimenta, is that a word? Go back for that same purple now and just dab it right there. Okay. Let's do this, guys. Yes. I'm gonna go with my iced. It's a loose pigment. Let's see how this work, guys. All I want to do is try to overlap it <coughs> for it to look seamless. Excuse me, guys. Guys, <clears throat> I am on intermittent fasting. And guys, it's normal. This is the time. 6.35 a.m. Last time I eat it was, um, eat anything was yesterday. About the same time in the evening. And guys, hmm, my tummy is rumbling. But guys, I'm going to stick with it. I'm going to stick with it. I'm not going to eat anything until my 16 hour time is up. And that may be around six, um, 12 o'clock midday today. Guys, I'm having some follow-up, but when I finish, I just wipe that off with the uh, baby wipes. I'm going to take this. I'm going to take this year shade. It's kind of rusty looking. Uh, and I'm going to put it there, okay? Don't want a lot. Okay. I 
Okay. And I'm going to take my black opal, heavenly honey, no. And I'm going to kind of sharpen this because I want it to be a sharp look. Let me see how sharp I can get it, guys. now onto my face and primer and i'm using the Cera ultra light moisturizing lotion yes for my primer so guys always just remember to prime your face because you don't drop prime your face no oh, your face is going to be dry and i like to wipe my hands off with all that powder Guys, with makeup, you just have to just try, try and try. Because trust me, guys, when I look back on some of my video, them, I say, my God. But even now, I am still learning and I'm still trying. I'm still trying, guys. I'm not perfect as yet. But I'm going to get there. I'll see you when I get there. Okay, and that is moisturizer. That is moisturizer for today. All right, now I'm going to go in now the LA Color Face Primer. This is another important thing, guys. You cannot leave out of your makeup routine because the primer, it acts as a barrier between your face and the foundation. It also helps for the concealer not to sleep up in the pores. And trust me, guys, everybody do have pores. Some more and some, but mainly under your eye here, your forehead and your T-zone. Basically, your T-zone where you sweat. So the primer really do a lot. So after the phone the, the, the primer is all dry down and thing make sure the primer is dry guys then you're going with your favorite foundation and my foundation for today is Milani 09 in the shade tan and I really do think that this shade really fits me and I'm going in Straight away with my beauty blender. Okay, guys. For um contour, I'm going to use this LA Girl Pro Face. This dark shade. I'm going to use this to contour my face. Oh, Mama Tita. Okay, guys, let's just, let's just spread the love. Spread it, spread it. Spread the love. Oh.
<laughs> hey guys, that was so frightening. I don't know when I put them. Oh, look at that, guys. Hiding the light. Blocking the light. Oh, guys, I forgot to tell you, I went off camera and I pop on the lash. Put on, pop, pop on the lash. And this is the lash that I'm wearing for today. The Mink Ears Z V X I U R E. Pronounce it, guys. I can't. Okay. Now for my, my, uh, my concealer, I'm going to use um, the contour. Contour um, collection. There it is, guys. Okay. And as you guys know, I just love to bring my thing. guys everybody have their own style and your own preference and as you go by day by day you learn what suits you and what don't so it's about trial and error guys mm. I look like a man with beard old man with beard take me guys I have beard yes guys sometimes I do do my um a contour first around before I do my eye, my highlight and my concealer my concealer and I'm going my smile line here or my frown line and remember guys we're basically keeping the concealer in this area of the face where the sun hits and not only where the sun hits when you look on your face the outer part is normally darker so we're just going with that flow no i mean guys i can't even find my setting tips this is my la girl I think I mix it with some other setting powder. That's why I arrive at this here color. Always to blow off. Use a damp beauty blender. And before you go in, guys, you shake it off or you blow it off. And then I'm not baking, I'm just setting the cream products.
this is what I like to do. Just to kind of lift my contour a bit. Guys, I have to remember to call, what call my products. You will get all the covers will get all mixed up and I don't know which one is which one. Or they may spill at times. So guys, whenever you're using a product, remember to ensure to seal them back as you're finished. Now guys, I think I'm going to go back to the eyes. I kind of like to get the, some of the powder off my hand. Before I go to eyes, guys, I'm going to set the face with this Milani here. Milani Compact Setting. Powder. And as I said, dab off some. And I'm gonna, just gonna take the opportunity you now just to dust off the powder that I place here. Guys, I look white. When I look in my mirror here, I'm not looking that white. Oh Lord. I look on camera, I'm looking white, guys. Why? Just set in the face. And for bronzer, I'm just uh, I'm gonna use my absolute pro bronzer to bring back some warm into the face. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna use this little brush here, guys. Just bringing back some warm to my face, guys, after the powder and all of that. No, guys, I have not forgot to contour my nose. No. Going in now with the same LA girl um pro thing here. And that's don't need a plenty of that.
okay guys i don't know where the name on this is gone i don't know what it is but i'm going to do it use it for my highlight for today and i'm going to highlight all the eye points of my face and i'm using this brush here I like to do my forehead guys and this is a preference as I always say bridge on my nose and guys what I have here I always have wipes I always try to wipe my brushes before I go back in my face What I'm going to do now, I'm going to spray my face with a setting spray. Yes, I'm using a generous amount because of all the powders that I use. Now for my underline, I'm going to use this e.l.f. pencil here, this e.l.f. liner. And I'm going to go in with just this little brush, guys. And I'm going to use, let me see, this shade of pink purple to smudge out my under eye. I want it to just come down a bit here. Yes, guys, no one to blush. I'm going to use this same. I'm what you guys see me. I'm your light. I'm your. Ooh, ooh. I'm going to use this from the same palette here. I'm going to take this here color and this here color. I'm going to mix it up and make my blush. How oh, can I mix it? Okay, let us use a beauty blender, guys. Let's see what happens. Oh, my blush. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Yay, me. Then I'm going to make my blush. And dab it. It's gone. Go with a beauty blender, guys. This has to be creative.
guys i'm thinking about changing my youtube name as i say down the bottom there i normally have clarice snit now i have it's clarice i think i'm gonna change the name yeah So guys, this is a look. And what I did for my under eye was I use from this palette, I use this bright <clears throat> um, shadow here and I put at the two end here. So the two ends look a little bit brighter. Are you seeing it guys? It's a little bit brighter than the under eye here. And I also put it in my, my what is this? Tear duck? Yeah. I think I also put it in my tear duck here, guys. So, guys, with makeup, you just have to be creative. Super creative. When you don't have a lot of money, you just have to be creative. And, guys, do you like my little chain here? Yeah. And this is a look that I come up with. Hope you guys like it. And don't forget to like subscribe and click that notification bell that you guys know whenever time i upload guys so guys it's it's clarice here yes telling you guys thanks for liking sharing and subscribing to my youtube channel guys be blessed